Hello fellow hunters and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a short video of me opening up some talismans. I've recently been enjoying watching other people do exactly the same and I thought, you know, why not? Who knows, maybe I get something interesting. So, let's go and take everything I have and let's have a look. Okay, so, hmm, geologist, free meal, not that impressive. Vine blessing, ice resistance, mm, not too interested in that. Divine blessing is still nice, but um, hunger resistance. Okay, so, ooh, this is a nice one. Okay, so actually maybe let's keep these. So, evade extender is definitely something that I use a lot as a switch axe main. So this is actually quite a nice one. And latent power... This is the when conditions are met. I think this is a one minute into a fight with a... Mm, something like that. One minute or two minutes into a fight it triggers. I'll have to go and double check that I can't quite remember. Finishing draw. Draw attacks deal a small... I don't think I played with any specific weapon that actually benefits from this. So not quite as useful. Mm. Not useful at all. A three slot decoration. That's nice. Water attack, not so nice. Uh, evade window, also not as useful. I prefer evade extender. Reload speed could be useful for some of the builds that I'm trying now. Rapid morph, also always useful, but I've got other ways of getting that. This is a very poor rarity seven. Wow. That is terrible. Uh, Dragon Attack 3. Interesting. And Bubbly Dance. Dragon Attack could be useful with some of the weapons. Two, two slot decorations that could also be very helpful. Quick Sheath. Bubbly Dance not very useful for any of the bolts I run. Reload Speed not so much. Fortify, always useful first time you're fighting an unknown creature. Thunder resist, resuscitate, tremor resist, thunder resist, muck resist, bombardier, quick sheath, wall runner, wall runner, useful for some of the farming runs, not so much anything else. Tremor resist, minor tremors and major ground tremors, also not too useful. Flinch free, rinse knockbacks and tripping. These also have no slots, which isn't helping at all. So, recovery up, water attack, not as impressive. Again, punishing draw, mm, critical eye, but on a rarity four, not that useful. Wind proof and affinity sliding. Mm, three slot and one slot, eh, that's okay. Let's see, item pro longer. Fire resistance, master mounter, ooh, a three and a two. Nice slots, not so nice on the skills themselves. Bit of a shame. Might be useful in some specific builds. Ooh, weakness exploit two. That is nice. Recoil down, punishing draw, recoil down, wall runner. Blight resistance and punishing draw. Oh, now that's a lot of nice slots. A 3, a 2, and a 1. Leap of Faith, though. Not very useful. At least not in my experience. Uh, Blight Resistance. That depends a lot. Oh, Rapid Morph. Uh, and Quick Sheath. That's an interesting combo. It's a bit of an interesting combo, but I suppose it is useful if you do want to use items as well. Being a two, uh, this is not so great. Three ones, wide range, windproof, not useful. Water attack, evade window. Speed eating three. Hmm. This could be very useful if you're going for a support build, especially if you have something else that gives you wide range as well, I think maybe. Could be very useful. Uh, so, speed eating, flinch free, fade window, recovery speed, sleep attack, protective polish. Useful, but one level not so much. 
Ah, poison attack and poison resistance with a three slot and one slot. Interesting. So I do have some weapons that I use that have the poison element, in which case that might be very useful. Ah, wide range, horn maestro. Yeah, that's okay. Botanist three counter strike. So I'm not so sure counter strike is going to be very useful, but for the farming runs, having botanist three already means I don't need it on some of my gear, which means I can go for some other useful things. Maybe something that helps with stamina or with uh, Wildbug Whisperer or something like that. So, could be useful. Actually, the set that I'm wearing at the moment could benefit from this. Very interesting. The 211 Speed Sharpening and Master Mounter. Interesting. Steadiness. Ah, bowgun shots. I don't use bowgun. Not that useful. Speed eating again, fire resistance, sleep resistance, bombardier, and tremor resistance. Explosive power. Explosive damage of items. I still need to test whether this also adds to things like sticky bombs on the bowgun, because while I don't normally use the bowgun, I am currently looking at some bolts which will help me farm lazarite jewels. So, maybe... Affinity, Sliding, and Slugger. Slugger for Mount... Uh, Slugger could be useful on some of the bolts that I'm doing, but I'm not entirely sold. So this one is great, definitely. And there's some... This one with the Evade Extender, definitely one that I will be using. So overall, I don't think this was a terribly bad haul. Definitely some talismans in here that I can use, but definitely some that I will be recycling. So, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if there's uh, any particular talisman or skill that caught your eye. Uh, maybe even share some of your builds down below for where you were using them. Uh, but that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.